The killing of Hamas's political bureau chief Ismail Haniye has heightened tensions between the United States and Israel. Latest reports claim that U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are having grave differences on the Gaza ceasefire proposal. A New York Times report says Biden and Netanyahu got into a heated telephonic discussion on Thursday. The Israeli Prime Minister is reportedly brushing off concerns about the assassination of Ismail Haniye and the repercussions of the killing on the ongoing hostage talks. The report adds that the two leaders had a quarrel during the phone call, with the U.S. President telling the Israeli Prime Minister, quote, Stop making a fool out of me. The statement did have some unprintables too. Israel's Channel 12 reported that the outburst came after Netanyahu told Biden that Israel is moving forward with negotiations on hostages for ceasefire deal with Hamas. At the end of Thursday's conversation, Biden also reportedly said, quote, don't take the president for granted. A U.S. official said the Israeli prime minister is strenuously denying that his administration was an obstacle to a ceasefire agreement. Furthermore, the official added, Netanyahu also rejected Biden's contention that the killing of the Hamas leader on Iranian soil could sabotage efforts to reach a deal. Israeli Prime Minister's office responded to these reports. The office said it did not wish to comment on the private discussions between the two leaders. However, the office stated, and I quote, Benjamin Netanyahu does not intervene in American politics and will work with whoever is elected president and expects the Americans to also not intervene in Israeli politics. Biden expressed his worries about the situation in West Asia during an interaction with reporters on Thursday the president said, quote, I had a very direct meeting with the prime minister today, very direct. We have the basis for a ceasefire. He should move on it, and they should move on it now. Meanwhile, the Israeli prime minister is dealing with a rift within his own cabinet. On Friday, Channel 12 reported that Netanyahu clashed with his own security chiefs, who accused him of changing the terms of the proposal to make it harder to reach a deal. However, the Prime Minister's office has also denied that report. For all the latest news, download the We on App and subscribe to our YouTube channel.